So you have said that it is authentic. And yeah, definitely authentic. I mean, you know, I think um, when I wrote it, a lot of people thought I'd actually experienced this. And you know what? You're probably the first person. I didn't want to really say it in the whole room because... But I have never experienced this. Yeah. But I have written the script from people that I've met or smaller experiences that I have had. Yes. Um, and I think what I came up against was people thought it was not authentic. But would you agree that there is a certain type of... Um, young person that would go through this experience. Definitely, there's like every every young person goes through different types of experiences, and maybe not just this. It could be something else, but just as you know, risque in a sense in, yes, in their yep. world. So I think this is something that people just don't talk about. I know. Are we on par with? Very poorly. Very poorly. Um, right. Very poorly because and it's just something that I've been talking about this morning that I remember and I've been thinking about it because seeing David Allen in the summertime recently, it's his new play, I've seen it pick and mix, a, an extract from it. And um, it's that element of people, do you know if somebody is gay, that they would say, is he a bit funny? Right, and yes. Like, what, what's the problem? And yes. You know, but like, and obviously like... That's right. And, do you whenever you're sitting talking to somebody, they go, oh, like, that, that's, um, that's such and such, and he's gay, you know? And you go, but like, I never sit down, people never introduce me and go, this is Chris, well he's straight by the way. I know exactly you know, what you it's, mean. It's that thing that I just go like, and like even my, my mom and like, you know, older people are terrible for it. Yes. Like, you go like, anytime I talk about anybody, they go, oh that's um, uh, David and Minnie. Uh, I go, like David, David and um, David Naaman were like, I was up at their house talking to them about it, and he goes, that's his husband. <laughs> and, 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 but the voice goes down to a whisper as yeah, well, doesn't it? It's Oh, let's just, yeah. let's just like move on a wee bit. Yes. You know, even a wee bit, I'd be happy enough. But like, it is something that I do think is needed. But do you know? But I, I'm, it's sad that it's needed. Yeah, it's I really know. sad that it's needed to be done, and people need to be like. And then you, you can't tell people what to do. You can't <laughs> go to people like you need to be more accepting of people. Yeah. Yeah, because it's 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 a sad place we live if you need to be told. Yes. Be more accepting. Of I course. understand there are elements of need to be made to be told that like this has changed now and this but like it shouldn't even be you shouldn't have to be told well, this changed now we think like this. But yeah. then that's what people go, oh so it's okay to like I'm like and yeah. it like then and um, even like do you know elements of even like reading the play and sort of going like, you know, because we were told that um, sort of Dean was supposed to be and it's 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 really sad that you were told things that this way, like do you know Dean's supposed to be like a guy you wouldn't even think was gay. Mm -hmm. And you go like why you know that's you know it had to be in the brief because you had to be aware not to come in and, and yes. play being like a camp, like a camp yes. man. But at the same time, it's sad that that has to be told to people that you're supposed to play like like a normal person. And you go, yeah, but he is, don't yeah, say yeah, yeah. It's a normal person. Uh, yes, I know that's very true, and I didn't actually realise that that because um, obviously um, that would be. But from the writer's perspective, um, I that's really interesting. I never thought about that. Um, from the writer's perspective, I wanted Dean to be on par with. The straight guy. Yeah. So even though he was gay, it was very important to me that yeah. he was the same stature, he had the same strength, because I didn't want, when I said um, gay, you know, I do not want, I wanted him to be a strong character because he was equal and he has all the same rights and he's, ex do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. And 100%. I think I did not want um, a, a gay person to be, um, typed and him to be flaming so that people could laugh and go, yeah. oh, he's the funny yeah. character. It's the same I think about it, man. Helmet Company, it's there, it happens. Um, Do you think Northern yeah. Ireland are sort of on par with the rest of the world with acceptance? Well, no, I mean, you only have to look up when uh, laws like civic laws, civil marriages, mm. uh, um, things like that, uh, wages, mm -hmm. things like that, so far behind the curve. Yeah. Yes, they're getting places now, starting to make motions towards it. Um, again, it's sort of, it, it makes sense, it's a complicated script for a complicated country. That's sort of the way I'm looking at it. Um, Beautiful, complicated, right? Absolutely. I, I love mean, working with yeah. Which is why you love working with as well. Yes. There's so yes. much reason to just throw the head up and go, I'm leaving. Yes. But there's so much more else to say at the moment. To keep it. And this is where I want to be, you know, yeah. operate from. Yes. Which is there, which is why I was really interested in the script because it is, it's just honest. The characters are very honest, the script's very honest. Um, it's not gratuitous. Uh, it's just a really interesting piece. I hate learning lines and I hate, I hate going to a recital when people are. I just think it looks so bad when somebody's like this. Their face is stuck into the. Yeah, what yeah. do you think about sexual identity in Northern Ireland? 
<laughs> what do you think about sexual identity in Northern Ireland? That was a question I really wanted to ask you, actually. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's what yeah. happens. Yeah. But regarding, moving along, uh, regarding that question, um, I think sexual identity in Northern Ireland is still very much oppressed. However, I think there's a, definitely a cutthroat generation mm, who are sick. That's an interesting way to put it. Sore and tired Oops. Yes. of hearing generation... Yeah, you can't do, you can't do, that's can't wrong, do this, that's wrong. You can't do that, you have to do this. It's disgusting, that's it. Yeah, like, that word, hearing, disgusting. You're in yep. the drone over and over. And also, like, we, I think our generation, I'm sick of turning on the news and hearing our community. Mm. Not, I hate hearing all that. What about us as individuals? What about, you know, we have a, for the size of our population, we have a very, very strong gay scene yes. as well. Yes. We also were the first place in Europe to have um, same-sex marriage down at the City Hall. Oh, I didn't think so. Really. There you go, that was the first place <laughs> Teaching in me, yes, um, fabulous. So I think it's very much oppressed, but there's, there's a generation now that all they want is we want our bins collected, yeah. we want nice schools, decent hospitals, mm. and then we want you to bugger off and take mm -hmm. your views where you want to take them, to yeah. the countryside preferably. <laughs> And just let us get on with it because what I do at night with so and so doesn't mean I'm incapable of being a good member of society. Yes. In Northern Ireland, it is. See, the thing about it is being part of youth action, where you have a lot of young people who come into that, they're how are all dealing with their own sexual identity. Yeah. They're all going through their own stages of this is who I am and stuff. And in there, it is a safe haven for them, right? That's great. Now. When you hear that there, you hear safe haven, you kind of think, that's nice, but it shouldn't need to be there. You know, a safe haven, no one should need to go on this place to say, I ask where I feel comfortable. It should be everywhere, you know, especially in your hometown. Yes. You know, in Northern Ireland, I think it's with all the issues kind of happening, even though when the sectarian area, big sort of things up there, people feel the sexual identity being maybe abusive, maybe up there, but it's swept under the carpet when it comes to like bigger issues that are happening like today. Yes. You know, but it's that, no, it's one of those things where whoever is dealing with their sexual identity knows of that there mm -hmm. and feels the need to hide it yes. to do. And it's in those safe havens yes. where they meet other people who go through the same things where they can actually come There's a bit of that. a release. There is a release, there's a confidence about that there. Oh, that's good. So I think it's a, very, it's a much more progressive thing, sexual identity within Northern Ireland. I think it's moved a whole lot. Um, do you think we're repressed as a country? Repressed as a nation, well, I mean... <laughs> as a nation? As a nation, oh, well, oh. Yes, everyone needs to get naked. And, no, uh, no. Uh, Dance around a tree. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, no, I think Northern Ireland, I think, I think Northern Ireland, as a society, I think we're very much repressed. Um, you know, like, sort of, what, what the MPs and what, you know, the kind of, um, sort of, more right-wing newspapers would have to, would have to believe that we in Northern Ireland are sort of, like, you know, sort of, more right-wing newspapers would have to, would have to believe that we in Northern Ireland are sort of, like, you say 1830s backwards sort of thing, but in the reality of it, with like young people, you know, you go on out. There's, you know, it's 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 just as it's just as cosmopolitan a city Belfast as any other capital. You know, yes. It's but uh, but there is obviously strict things like you know the whole drinking thing where you can where clubs are closed only till two. I remember before that, you know, it would used to be you go to a normal club and then everyone, not not just you know. Um, gay people or bisexual or whatever would go to like clubs that like you know like the Kremlin or whatever you know because yes. even though that they are meant to be just you know for them, but you know they're it's for really, everybody yeah you know it's sort of it's it, I think it's more open now you know as a sort of thing and I think that um, it's great that we have a script and the image screen that sort of um, shows this you know that um, I'm definitely happy that they funded it no yeah <laughs> yeah I mean it does yeah it's just it's, it's I think it's just a great sort of thing that it's a, it just it's I mean it will obviously it will cause controversy but you know without without conflict there can't become growth you know what I mean society, oh, so. right Dave I like that with regard to young people and just in community well I think I think a lot has changed in literally in the past few years like I would in agree, the time yeah. that I've been to uni and mm -hmm. come back it's been very different yeah uh, you know because I uh, I'm gay myself, and I came out a good few years ago, and oh, really? uh, like I've been with my partner for seven and a half years. And, Love, uh, like, oh my god! We, when we both came out, long time. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh, it's, 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 it's flown past. Oh, it's, when you enjoy yourself. A soulmate, then? Do you um, think soulmate? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh. But uh, 
But when we first came out, um, you know, his parents were very, you know, yeah. his mum was, you know, didn't want to talk to him, you know, and it was all took it know, bad. Took it very bad. Mm. Now my parents were a lot more supportive. Fabulous. But, you know, um, but he said to me recently, uh, Barry had said to me recently that he thinks at that time, you know, my family gave him a family that he needed. You know, Aww. now everything's better now with his family, and we're all kind of friends now. That's, really that's sweet. good. But you know, it, it 